What's up? Welcome to the channel. Just let you uh, in on a little secret. I'm pre-recording these ones because um, me and my wife just had our baby girl and I'm taking a little paternity leave and trying to queue up some stuff, uh, uh, some stuff to release for you guys while I am away. So today, what I want to talk about a little bit more in depth um, and with something that we glazed over is actually fuel, fuel fills. Today we are talking about this fuel fill. It's not sponsored. This is not sponsored. I bought this with my own money off of Amazon. I link it below. Um, but I bought this Perco fuel fill. We have yet to install it actually in, in real time, in, in filming time. We haven't installed it yet, obviously. But we are going to install it uh, in like two days. So I bought this fuel fill because the fuel fill that I had in the boat was one of these fills. They're, they're a common standard thing. I think it was original to the boat. And it actually has a counterpart that I had, I set aside and cannot find. So my best friend, Google Images, will show you what the vent looks like for one of these. It pops out the side of the boat. There it is, Google Images, the magic of Google. So this was the fill that was on the boat and that kind of vent was the ventilation system on the boat. Obviously that goes into the, the fill goes into the fill port of the tank. The vent has the vent um, of the tank. And that through hole vent has a vent line that curves around on the inside to um, not let water get into the tank as if it splashes into that fill port. It, like it's a good system um, and it works, but it's a little bit um, spider. It's a little bit more than you need um, these days with modern uh, fuel fill caps. This is a Perco fuel fill made here in America because um, we love made in America. And this is not an unboxing. This is not, it's not a product review. It's not sponsored. It's not anything. I'm just trying to share a little bit of information about a product that I think is simpler, easier, and just all around better. So the Perco, ooh, let's dump it out. I don't want to scratch it up because it's all brand new. Um, set that aside. It's a very simple thing. This is not going to be a long video. It's a very, it's a very simple little deal. It is a fuel fill, like this fuel fill, but instead of just having the fill port, the vent port is right there. The vent is in here. You can see it vents right there. And the fuel, the fuel fill line and the vent line go straight up and run parallel to each other down to the tank. It's right on the gunnel. There's no need to vent anything out the side. There's no need to have that extra little loop. There's no need to have another point of possible water intrusion or failure if any of your sealant or anything like that going through the hull um, fails. It's not underwater, so it's not like it would be the worst thing in the world, but there's just no reason to poke a hole in the side of a boat these days when you have a fuel fill like this. All it requires is just widening another little hole in here, putting, a, putting another little zip in there, and you install it, hook your, hook your hose up here, um, put on your little, uh, your little uh, hose clamp by Bolt Depot. Um, get those hose clamps from Bolt Depot, if you will. Um, and then you just uh, close, close the, the cap. Another benefit of these ones is, what's this? This is our little, oh, perfect. Perfect, so this is, you mount, you mount, this is a little mounting ring. You just mount that, mount that to the gunnel and then you can screw this down to that little cap without having to screw, without having to nest it um, directly onto the fiberglass. I wonder if that is optional or if you have to do that. I don't know, let's see, hang on. Also, it's got a little tool to, to, to you see these little holes here? A little key tool um, that it comes with that you can put on your keychain um, to open the fuel fill. But the thing that I like about Perco's, unlike these old style ones where you need a deck key or something like that to open this, there's also grooves on the side where you can just twist it like that and just take it off. And that's how I've always done it. I've never, I never have to use uh, a tool or a key to open these things. So Perco, good little, good little fuel fill. It's not, I mean, it's not, it's not revolutionary or anything like that by any means. They've been on the market for forever. But when changing these systems, it's a very small feature. It makes the whole project of changing it a lot easier, a lot more simple for um, the end user. The only thing you're going to have to do, if you already have one of these systems, one of these systems in your boat, 
is you're gonna have to plug that, that uh, hole in the fiberglass and stuff like that. Um, that means you're gonna have to redo some exterior paint and things like that. So it may not make sense to do this. Um, if, if depending upon your project and how, how light you want to go, if you're pulling a fuel tank out and you're placing fuel fills, it's likely worth it. But if something like this is going on to where there's rust getting in there and there's, there's fiberglass degradation um, underneath this um, or any rot or anything like that that you need to pull out of there and you're considering going with a different route, I can highly recommend uh, one of these just because of the ease uh, of installation and use. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much all uh, all about this one. It was just a shorty little video today about uh, you know something that we didn't really explain in one of the other videos. But I wanted to go into it a little bit more because I do think that that kind of stuff matters whenever we're talking about changing different things on boats and why we're changing different things on boats. I just wanted to slow down for a little video and talk to you guys about why we're going in one direction um, over, why we're picking one product over another without it being a sponsored thing, without it being a, you know, there's, there's nothing like that, just why we're going with, with that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, uh, one one other note and then, and then we'll close is uh, this, this old style shank is full metal. This one is plastic. It's not, I mean, it's totally fine. It's not, it's not gonna hurt anything. It's very solid, thick plastic, but it is plastic and this is metal. It's just something to know. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for joining us for this one. I really appreciate it. Um, let me know if you like this. Let me know if you didn't. We've got thumbs up buttons, we've got thumbs down buttons, and we've got that super important subscribe button. So if you could hit that subscribe button, that would be awesome. If you didn't like this video, no worries. Don't hit that subscribe button. No pressure, but do it. But no, it's fine, but do it. Do it. Do it. I'm just kidding. But do it. Take it easy. I got a Donovan feed. Do it.